you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our special guest, John LaGorge, the VP of Corporate Development for Grand West Transportation, Symbol Bus in Canada, BUSXF. How are you doing today, John? I'm fantastic. It's uh, great to be here, Rich. Uh, thanks for having me. Hey, thank you for joining us. Bus is having a huge day. Huge news today announced $25 million quarter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks a lot. We're, uh, we're really excited to really put uh, 2020 behind us, uh, which is everyone knows has been, you know, a little, little challenging with some things, but, uh, you know, having the, uh, the operations up in full force, uh, making those deliveries, uh, making a record quarter here is, uh, is real exciting. Plus, uh, as you see, you know, like to the events that, uh, we've been building towards, uh, you know, launching the EV and everything else here. It's a, it's exciting times for us, for sure. John, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Grand West Transportation Group? Yeah, I mean, I've got a finance background. Uh, I spent a lot of time in diversified industries. I, I sold software for EMC, software and, and hardware. Uh, I was in the oil and gas business. Uh, spent a lot of time, though, uh, since 2009, I've been fully focused in uh, the investments in, in microcaps and uh, board, board positions, uh, officer positions and small caps. Uh, I just, it's my passion. I love it. And, um, you know, that, that's what led me to, uh, to work here at Grand West. I met uh, Will about six years ago and, uh, you know, became an investor, loved what he was doing and uh, was lucky enough to be approached by him a, a little bit later to join the board and help there. And then it kind of evolved into my role in, uh, in the capital markets and uh, business development. So I know the uh, bus has really been gaining steam and our community absolutely loves it. Can you tell us how many buses have gone out now from the first $50 million order you guys have been working on? Yeah, so I'm not going to give you specific orders because as I would like to explain, it's not like delivering pizzas. You know, the, uh, uh, the actual revenue recognition can be a little tricky as far as sign off and things like that. So we do know, uh, I'll tell you, if you read the press release today, we, we are on track and are delivering over 50 buses in Q1. So that's between 50 and 60 plus, but uh, you know, the, the end result you know, ends up being somewhere in, in there. And then what doesn't go into this quarter ends up uh, in, in Q2. Um, so that's, that's where we're at. So very exciting, huge Q1, record breaking Q1 by a long shot. And I'm anticipating a very strong, solid, maybe similar numbers for Q2 based on all the research that I've been doing. Now, Grand West Transportation Group also recently announced, huge announcement, a new chief operating officer, Manuel Achedina, former CEO of BC Transit. Huge, huge, huge acquisition. Can you tell us a bit about this addition for the team of Grand West Transportation Group? What does that mean for the company? Oh, I'd love to talk about it. This is just absolutely massive for us. Um, you know, when, when you look at... Uh, you know, uh, that position of CEO of any public transit agency, it's got to be one of the most difficult uh, jobs in the world. And so Manuel is a, uh, you know, like a proven operator, a proven professional, uh, you know, at, at BC Transit, this is all public knowledge. I mean, he had, you know, over 4,000 employees that he was responsible for. His uh, operating budget was over 300 million a year. His capital budget over 150 million a year. So, um, you know, dealing with budgets, uh, you know, maintenance, building facilities like so and you know the real interesting part is you can't write a better story um you know manuel was the ceo of bc transit and actually brought the was a champion for bus to or grand west to become uh the joint venture partner there the strategic partnership so he brought he's a very in, integral part of, of coming up with the name vicinity he's very oh, wow. integral in, in creating the whole company as a as successful entity that it is today so for him to understand it as well as he does, uh, he's been working with me for the last few months on some some consulting, and it's just a, a huge, huge addition to the company. And um, you know, for for him to expand from where we are into a multi billion dollar company, it's uh, it's it's going to be something he's definitely ready for, and he's he's experienced in doing that and restructuring, you know, for optimization and and you know, as, as you, yeah, it's just a great great addition. I always tell our community that we love to invest in revenue and you guys now have a lot of revenue and we love to invest in management, experienced management that has done it before. If they've done it before, they can do it again. 
You've got a guy now on board that has a unbelievable resume that only is going to enhance the culture, the amount of visibility, the amount of attention that is going to be put on Grand West Transportation. Now, another huge piece of news, you guys just announced that you're making the application to the NASDAQ and recently announced a small share rollback, very small three to one, nothing to really be concerned about. Can you tell us how close you guys are to uplisting? I know that there will be a vote on, I believe it's March 24th for the uplisting. And what made you guys decide to do a small consolidation of the shares? Yeah, so I guess if you start, uh, you know, the consolidation, you know, for the listing of the NASDAQ, uh, you know, you have to maintain a $4 US bid price. So, I mean, just the, the pricing, you know, I, I'd, like, I'd like to think that we'll be there, uh, you know, organically, but you don't want to be close to that number. And also the US institutions prefer a, you know, a $10 US bid. So, you know, we'll, we'll be on a lot more radars with, uh, with that, uh, that pricing. And also to just to tighten up the, the trading structure. I mean, uh, you know, going on the NASDAQ with 100 million shares out, I'd rather, I'd prefer to have that you know, 30 million range. I think it'll trade nicer. Yeah, 28 million shares is a beautiful float. I always tell our guys, we like 100 million shares, but 50 million shares, bingo. 30 million shares is just beautiful. Like to be on the NASDAQ with 30 million shares, this will be one of the hottest electric vehicle stocks in the world at that point regardless, because you got revenue, you've got a tight share structure with a little bit of buying, it's rocket fuel for the stock. So it's a no brainer for us. How long till the name change of the company becomes effective? And what made you guys want to do a name change? Yeah. And I guess I did miss on the, uh, on the timing, like we'll, we'll be filing. Uh, we have to uh, announce our, our quarterly or sorry, not our quarterly, our year end financials here, uh, which will come at the end of this month, most likely. And then we'll file probably mid-April with uh, with the Nasdaq. So uh, at that point, it's out of our hands, and I believe it's a thirty to, to ninety day process after that. So we're moving as fast as we can on that uh, on that front. And then we talk about the chain change from Grand West Transportation. Uh, you know, our, our product line is called the Vicinity. So there's always been a little bit of a confusion between Grand West and Vicinity. Um, but if you also notice, we're, we're changing from my transportation to Vicinity Motor Corp. And it's a, just much cleaner, uh, shorter, but it also provides us the opportunity to expand potentially into other product lines besides transit. So not just buses, like right now our symbol is bus, but we would look to change that to, you know, hopefully VMC or something along those lines. Um, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of business out there to be had. Uh, we've spent millions of dollars perfecting our EV integration. And so you think about, you know, our transportation, you know, business uh, or our buses as a, as a, as a unit, uh, but we've got some other opportunities potentially out there. Can you tell us what the expected completion date of the U S facility is? I know that that is very exciting for bus. That's going to take your game to the next level where you're going to be able to do like, I think it's a thousand units a year. Uh, do you have an exact date or a timeline for that? Yeah. Well, as you know, in construction, there's never an exact date and I'm smart enough to never promise an exact date <laughs> anymore. But um, yeah, I mean, we've finalized the, uh, basically the design and we're just getting through that, the final uh, uh, permitting to, to get that done. So I would expect to be done here in Q3, Q4. Um, we can start, we can still do Buy America operations down in, in the state, uh, just do some stall builds until that's up and ready, but we're going as fast as we can. And that's, you know, it's a, it's a big step for us as well, because we'll, that'll allow us to bring you know, customers to see, see our operations and see you know, how, we're, how we're doing these things with, uh, with the manufacturing. Now, I know you guys have a lot of different types of buses. Can you, and a lot of people have been asking me, this is a specific question from the audience, what percentage of buses you guys make will be fully electric buses? Do you have an idea or an estimate? Yeah, so... You know, if, if you look at what we do now, like most of our sales are diesel and CNG. Yeah. So you kind of start with, with the diesel, then moving towards the more environmentally friendly CNG. And now we're going towards EV. So at this point, we've got a very small percentage of sales. We've sold five of the EVs. Uh, you're going to see some more of those orders shortly, I anticipate. Um, don't promise, but I think something's coming shortly. Um, so, 
what, what we'll look to see over the next five years. I mean, you can't, I know everyone's excited about EV, but the, the world or the North American transit markets and, and even public operators, private operators, they just can't flip the switch and say, we all want EV. There's just not the infrastructure in place. So, um, but what you'll see right now is a smaller percentage, you know, maybe next year, 20, 30%, but then moving towards 80 to 100% over the next five years. Which really shows, and, and this is something I want to consistently remind people of, we are really at the early stages of electric vehicles. Despite the fact that Tesla is becoming one of the largest market cap companies in the world, we're still in the very early stages of electric vehicles. And in the next 10, 20 years, we're going to see a huge shift where instead of maybe one out of every 10 cars, I don't even know if it's that much, let's say one out of every 20 cars is electric vehicle. I think in the next 10, 20 years, it's going to be like 50% of the cars are electric vehicles. So like you said, there's a lot of infrastructure that needs to be built in order to manage and maintain that. There's, there's got to be charging stations, so many things that need to happen. Would you agree? And it's going to take some time. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, even what you're kind of playing on is that, uh, you know, that environmental and sustainability, which... Uh, we are going to be looking to engage an ESG um, audit to make sure that our, our processes and our governance will report on that. So we stay tuned for that. And then when you start talking about how many you know, electric vehicles or cars there are, well, every bus takes like 40 to 50 cars off the road. So if a, if a diesel bus is taking that off, off the road and then you introduce an EV, imagine what you can do by removing all that, then removing all the diesel buses and putting the EV. So really the uh, environmental impacts massive. And we're really excited about that. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we're in the Super Bowl here of, of a, a total change in, in the market. And it's, there's, this'll, this is the best, best time to be in this place. And, uh, you know, as an established company, it's pretty exciting. Well, it's very exciting, so. Yeah, and I love disruptive technologies. And this is one of the most disruptive technologies and super excited to still be here in the early stages before the company has even graduated to the NASDAQ. So um, congratulations on all your success so far. And I know that this is just the beginning. If there was one thing you would want shareholders to know about Grand West Transportation Group today, what would it be? Yeah, you know, I think that what's, what you really want to look at with us is, you know, we've, we're a proven company. We know how to bring new products to market. We've competed against the big guys. We've got existing customers. We've got existing infrastructure, sales, service support. We just signed a deal with uh, ABC companies uh, to, to market, and, and they've been around for 60, 70 years. So now we've got a, you know, a proven one of the larger bus uh, sales companies in, in, uh, in, in the U.S. to, to partner with. And they don't have a competing product to, to market. So, and in the meantime, as we transition to what we believe is extremely disruptive EV tech, we have existing products to sell what the what the customer wants today in diesel, CNG, um, and then moving towards the EV. And I mean, I, you know, as you see, like when you see twenty five million dollars in a quarter, um, you know, it's really easy for for a new company to go up there and put up a nice PowerPoint and say, this is what we're going to do. But then actually executing on that, I mean, these bids are complicated, uh, you know, when you, especially the public transit bids are, are difficult, um, but we've got the engineering skill and know-how and, and, and all that. So uh, we're, we're the whole package and, you know, watch out because uh, you know, we've got some, some pretty you know, talented team members here that, that are ready to take it to the next level. So uh, when you talk about, I mean, we're just getting started. Very exciting. If a shareholder or a potential partner wants to get in contact with you what's the best way for them to reach you yeah i mean for for shareholders uh, i'd suggest calling uh, luke uh, zimmerman or mark schwallenberg uh, i work very closely with the mz group they're our ir firm out of the u.s and they, they're an extension of of my team and they're great to work with um, their phone number is 949-259-4987 and if you want to email them it's uh, bus at mz group us and if there's a partnership opportunity send that to them and if they can forward it to me uh, but they're they're good to work with there and then um, on our press releases well, previously if you're in canada always call the uh, the paradox guys as well um, they're they're great guys as well so and they're, they're working with us as well okay great well thank you for joining us john lagarge the 
VP of Corporate Development for Grand West Transportation. If you guys like this video, please smash the like button, comment down below, smash the like button, comment down below and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. If you wanna see and get access to these videos in the future, just smash that, get the bell for notifications. Every time we go live or you get an update, you will get it first. And remember Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence, always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Consult a financial advisor. Chances are when you consult your financial advisor, your financial advisor is going to say, where'd you get this pick? And you can say, I heard it on Rich TV Live. And they're going to say, it's a great pick. Bus is my number one electric vehicle play for 2021. They haven't disappointed so far. You guys have been a huge success story. It's already been a 10X over the last year. We've seen a lot of success and a lot of upside. But in my opinion, this is a story that's just getting started. And going on a senior exchange is going to bring in so many more eyeballs into the security. And I'm very excited to see how it all transforms and how it all evolves. And thank you for your time today, John. Thanks for having me, Rich. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah, hope to have you again soon. Anytime you have a big breaking news like you've had just recently, please, I'd love to invite you back on the show. Keep up all the great work and our entire community will be watching you very closely. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, everybody.